There was even so, an envelope in the glove compartment when we got back to pay for the parking. You did Bam. the Dave Ramsey thing. So you we <laughs> we went on board with sixteen hundred cash for gambling, and then a, you had cash and envelopes for all the other different sort of stuff like. Yes. Any money we'd spend on an excursion, yes. tipping for bags, yes. uh, something to have to spend on the ship on our account, like to buy some ice cream at Ben and Jerry's. Yes. Buy the same it's movie, retarded. buy the same $11 movie twice because you fell asleep. And by the way, the movie system doesn't work the same on Liberty of the Seas as Don't Oasis. Watch it with your wife. You can pause it. You, but then, once you leave the movie, it's not like Oasis, and you can just start it up again within 24 hours. And then I fell asleep twice during Red Sparrow. Don't watch a movie with your wife. Why? I'm just saying, you could have, like, waited until... Yeah. I wanted to watch a movie, you mean I, a movie together. Oh, I, I could have been doing other stuff instead of watching a movie with no. you in bed. What do you mean, then? If you're going to buy a movie, you should wait and say, Hey, honey, I'm going to buy so a movie. Brought, do you want to watch it with me? We went on board with 1600 cash gambling, and then on the next Friday when we'd run out, you got another 1000 Did you get any, uh, and then 300 on a card, and I got 100 on a card. Yeah. I got 100 off one of my cards, and you got 300 off of one of yours, right? It's for yeah. another 400 so that's 2000 And then out of our uh, bank deposit on Friday, you took 900 Yes. Well, nine sixty times two, or nine eighty times two. Oh, almost. Not times two. Five, I'm sorry. Five hundred and eighty dollars times two. So grand. No, four hundred and eighty dollars times two. A grand. Yeah. A grand. Almost a grand. So fourteen. So that's a total of three thousand dollars. Knowing me, when I got home, one of the things I did today to kill time, I mean work, was I ran the percentages of, I took her point total, you were like 34, 35, 3600 or something like that. 34. 34. So 34 to find out how much money she ran through the machine. Slots, it's five uh, for every dollar. Um, but if you're playing uh, video poker, which you did do a lot, which made it a little bit harder to figure out what it should have cost us to go. Um, that's 10 to 1. But let's just assume she did slots. So you take her 3,400 points and you times that by 5. So that's $17,000 she ran through the slot machines. We've heard all sorts of things on slot machine odds on ships from anywhere from a regular you know, 12, 14, 15% uh, to up to 18, 19, 20% like some state casinos or even worse. We think it's right around 18%, which surprised us. Um, so I time served at slot play at that, and she should have lost about $2,000. Um, but then I had to figure in her video poker playing, which is probably a good 25% of your money through machine, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the odds are different on that, at two and a half. So I did the math, and I came out of that figure, so we'll take her total money through and times it by... Point one two. I did learn too that that six five um, payout it makes it a five percent gain. Which one? The double double bonus poker. But I hit. I got quads like five. If it's a ten, if it's a ten six game, then it's actually a point zero zero two percent advantage for the perfect player. If it's a nine six, which is you can't find anywhere unless you're playing $10 a hand, um, or maybe 9.5. That is a 1% game for the casino. It's a 99% to 1%, so it's already twice as bad as blackjack. When you go to 8.675, for almost everyone down, it's another percentage. So you get down to 6.5, and it's like a 5% game. So I took that, my cash through, I had 2,500 points, so if I, and I played all video poker, and that's $25,000 through the table times 0.5, that's uh, 2,500, divide that in half, that's 1,250, so I should have lost 1,250, and that's, that's about what I lost, but everything, it was, it was a push.
<laughs> now, how much would that have cost us? I mean, the odds were on for that one. If we had paid, like, full ticket for that balcony room for the two of us for the whole week. Oh, gosh. The balcony, $2,000. Okay, so the trip cost is a... The trip cost is $1,000, but like we just said, if we paid for it out of pocket, it would have cost us two grand, so we took that grand that we, that we saved, we rolled that into a bankroll, and so it's not that bad. It's about even. It's, it, it's a lot. It, sometimes it goes on the positive side, too. Yeah. But we have fun. I think it usually ends up being a wash, yeah. like every cruise we take. But we love to gamble. So even right. if it's a wash, our entertainment. Right. And, and if it, if we're it, not like buying the drink package or buying like a bajillion drinks or because we get the free drinks. Yeah. We've got to count that. I mean, we used, <laughs> we used to come out on the bad side of it, but we didn't bring as much money yeah. when we weren't getting comp the room and stuff. We were, if, if, if you weren't playing the game and getting comp the room and stuff, then you would have a gambling problem. <laughs> okay. Four bottles of wine delivered to the room. Yep, it was two hundred dollars yeah. of wine, probably about fifty dollars in chocolate like fruit. I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. Plus the or actually, we should say three hundred increases. Turn off the phone. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Hello. 